Hi, I'm Erin and this is the Swallow's Nest Homestead. Today we're talking about kitchen towels. Do your kitchen towels ever start to feel slimy or like there's just a lot of grease or build up on them? So today we're going to talk about how to get rid of that. We're going to talk about stripping your kitchen towels. Laundry stripping is something that's been around for quite a long time, although apparently it recently gained popularity on TikTok. Um, I've been doing it for years. Uh, I first learned about it when I had friends who were stripping diapers uh, when they would cloth diaper their babies. I didn't cloth diaper my baby, so I don't have experience with that. But I do strip my kitchen towels about three or four times a year, and today we're gonna go through the whole process on how to do that. So the big question is why would you wanna strip your, your kitchen towels? Well, over time, detergent, um, fabric softener, grease in the kitchen, you know, if we're wiping up spills and things like that, uh, build up on the towels and they get kind of grimy and they're not as bright and clean as they used to be. And the kitchen towels are worst for this. Um, though I have used it on bath towels about once a year. Um, you use a, a safe combination of uh, natural chemicals that soften the water and loosen up those grease and the, the extra um, detergent and things like that to get it out of your towels. So this is not something you wanna do very often because you are boiling your towels and um, that long exposure to such hot temperatures is not ideal for them. You typically don't wanna do this on your general laundry uh, because it can damage um, delicate fabrics and synthetic fabrics like uh, spandex and nylon can be damaged by the uh, boiling water or possibly even by these, um, the dyes can leach out uh, from the uh, washing soda and bor borax that we're gonna use for the process. While it does work for an occasional cleaning, it is not con should not be considered a primary way to clean your towels. If you feel like they are needing them more often than that, then it's time to evaluate your laundry practices. Um, consider eliminating laundry or fabric softener altogether. Um, consider eliminating dryer sheets and uh, or think about reducing the amount of detergent you put in your laundry. Uh, one point is this is um, I noticed when I stopped using homemade detergent that I needed to do it a lot less. Technically what we call homemade detergent is made from soap and a couple of other ingredients and um, soap actually works differently than detergent. So it has, uh, it is more likely to um, build up on clothing and towels. So that's something to consider if you use a homemade soap based uh, liquid for your lawn, for your uh, washing machine. All right, so let's start with going through the steps. Step one is we want to start with relatively clean towels. These want, you want freshly laundered towels or towels that have been in the cabinet um, that have not been used on you know greasy messes or, or whatever. So you can see this towel was nearly white at one point. It's pretty gray and, and dingy looking. Um, same with some of my dishcloths. I don't think I've ever actually done dishcloths before. So I usually just do kitchen towels. So um, we'll do dish towels and our dishcloths and a few dish towels. I think I've got three or four here. Um, and then see, I've got a couple here. This is the basket I keep them all in. Um, most of these are like tea towel types that I don't use as often. I use them more for covering bread and things like that so they don't get slimy so much. So um, first thing, like I said, is to have relatively clean or freshly laundered towels. The next step is you are gonna take the largest pot that you have. Um, in this case, this is a, I don't know, 12, 15 quart stock pot. It's actually quite large. 
Um, I have used this. I've also used my old uh, canning kettle, water bath canning kettle. It's much bigger, um, so I can do more towels if I need to, but uh, it also takes a very long time to come to a boil, so it's not as time effective, but um, take the, you know, use the biggest pot you have um, and uh, fill it about two thirds of the way with water and you're gonna turn it on until it comes to a boil. Okay, so aside from a canning kettle or a large kettle or stock pot, while we're waiting for that to come before, to a boil, I'm gonna talk about the rest of the things we need to do this. So the first thing we're gonna use is borax. Um, you can get borax in the laundry aisle of your grocery store. You can buy it on Amazon. Um, I actually get my borax and my, this is calcium carbonate, soda ash. It's also known as washing soda. It is also available on the, in the laundry aisle of your store. Um, but I like chemistrystore.com um, because they're not branded. You're not paying for the brand names and you can buy it in these, uh, in a 10 pound bucket. Um, Borax is occasionally used in um, laundry as a uh, water softener um, and washing soda is a um, stain remover. It helps break up things, uh, build up. So we're gonna use them together. They're safe to use together. And we are going to put a half a cup of each into the pot once the water is boiling. The last thing we need is a long handled wooden spoon because as the towels are boiling away in the pot, we're going to be stirring the towels around so that they can get the most movement and make sure they get plenty of um, exposure to the borax and washing soda. Okay, now that our water is boiling, we are going to add a quarter cup. I wanna say a quarter cup. I think I said a half cup before. If you're doing the like a big canning kettle, then yes, a half a cup would be sufficient. Um, but for a smaller uh, stock pot like this, a quarter cup is all you need. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of washing soda and a quarter cup of borax. Give it a quick stir. And then I'm gonna grab my towels. Now I'm not gonna just dump them all in at once. I'm gonna put them somewhere they're not gonna be on the stove. Here we go. So I'll put in all my dish uh, rags and just a couple of towels to start with. Let's see how full that is. Make sure you got plenty of room for everything to move around and boil and do its thing. Okay. So now we are going to set a timer and we are going to let it boil for at least 10 minutes, but you really don't need to go more than say 15 and we'll come back and see what we've got. It's a good idea to just go ahead and stir them once in a while um, to make sure that they're all getting exposed evenly. You can already see the color of the water. It's kind of gray. It's loosening a lot of that stuff out of the fabric. All right, 10 minutes are up. And as you can see, this is some pretty dirty, nasty water. Um, depending on, usually I just take this and go dump it in the sink to drain all the water out. But this time I'm actually going to use tongs um, and pull them out. And you can see I have a large stainless steel bowl here to put them in. Let's see, did I get them? Oh, there's another one. Right. Dishcloth. So that's what my water looks like. Now it's been probably at least six months since I've, um, oh, I know it's been more than six months since I stripped my towels. So that's just normal everyday kitchen wear and tear. So you can get an idea of how much stuff is in your towels, food, grease, excess detergent, fabric softener, things like that. What I'm gonna do with these now is take them and throw them in the washing machine 
run them on a full cycle without any soap just to rinse out the borax and the um, washing soda out of them and then I will dry them as normal. I might wait if I'm going to do another, if I were to do multiple batches, I'd wait and do all of them in the wash at one time um, because this is definitely not a full load of laundry. So um, yeah, I'm going to go put these in the wash. All right. I hope that helps give you an idea of how and why uh, we need to strip kitchen towels on a routine basis, but not too often. One of the things I noticed as I was dumping out the dirty water as that was that there is a little bit of suds in the water, which tells me that maybe I'm using a little bit too much detergent and I need to cut back just a little bit. Those are the types of clues we want to take into account that can reduce the need to strip the towels in the first place. Have you stripped your towels before? Let me know your experience in the comments. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.